there is a movie called Sea Biscuit with uh, Tobey Maguire. Oh, Sea Biscuit, yeah. Mm-hmm. He's blind in one eye. There are some close ups <laughs> of Tobey Maguire riding the horse. Well, what they did was they put a mechanical horse on this platform, the Biscuit Junior rig. And on this platform, there was like a little like cockpit kind of thing, this little sidecar. And someone would get in that little pit, drive around, and it looked like they were riding a horse, kind of like a process car. A process car is like a you put a car on a platform and then another car pulls it. But that's not really doable when you have these action action chase sequences. The Biscuit Jr. does. It's it's the same technology from Sea Biscuit, but it's applied to something a bit more intense. The reason it's really convenient is because it could be modified. You can move the cockpit anywhere you want within this little rig. And this rig can go f- fast. This thing is wild. They have some behind the scenes footage of it where you see the driver driving right next to the, he's right next to the car, right? They're filming their close-ups. And he talks about, they asked him, what was one of your favorite scenes filming? Wait, who, who said? Robert Nagel. He mm-hmm. served like as a race car strength driver for a bunch of movies. And they talked to him about this biscuit rig, which was your favorite scene using this rig. And he said, oh, the mid film scene, chase sequence in drive. If you remember, he he turns 180 degrees, Ryan Gosling, and then he's yeah. driving in reverse. Typically, that would have been really difficult to film, film all the close-ups of Ryan Gosling's character driving that. Yeah. But they were able to easily get it because of the way the rig works, because it's so powerful. He could do all these turns and all these 180s and stuff like that easily, or not easily, but easier than before. And they would go on to use this rig in a bunch of different other stuff in uh, one of your favorite films, Baby Driver. Nice. And I just think it's really amazing that this, that we've gone to the point in filmmaking where the technology has advanced so much that even a rig that was built for a $15, $15 million film can be used in films with budgets of upwards $200 million. That's insane, isn't it? That is pretty wild.